What is up YouTube? In this video, let's look at Microsoft Azure certification roadmap that I've prepared for 2024. One of my key goals for this year was to get to know a lot more Azure cloud and get a lot more skill sets around the Azure cloud uh, lately. So lately Azure has been like super popular with newer services coming, especially with the OpenAI integration. It is actually have become like the fastest growing cloud platform at the moment, which is kind of creating a lot more demand of engineers like us. Being a data engineer who works with cloud myself, uh, I'm interested in getting a lot more knowledge and skill set around Azure for this year. So hence, a full-blown roadmap. All right, so before we get started on looking at the actual roadmap, let's first see why even get Azure certification in the first place, right? One of them is growing market share of Azure. Azure is one of the fastest growing cloud providers. Uh, obviously, AWS has the biggest market share, but Azure is actually kind of growing. So which creates an opportunity for a lot of engineers like us, data engineers or being a cloud engineer, right? Uh, for us to kind of capture this uh, uh, market and kind of be an expert, right? Where there's a lot more demand because it's growing, right? Uh, a lot more new new companies or clients are being converted into Azure customers, right? Uh, so it's it's happening at, at, a, at a much faster speed. The second big point is the OpenAI hype, right? Uh, as Microsoft has invested in OpenAI, they kind of brought those services to Azure Cloud, which makes, uh, Azure a lot more useful for the newer tech if you want to explore the newer tech integrated with new uh, older applications. So it kind of created a, a big hype on um, uh, for big customers, for big businesses to use Azure. It's like one of the big reasons to use it. Even though uh, OpenAI has their own API, but for um, organizations, a lot of these secure APIs where your data kind of remains in the single place in your cloud is through Azure. Uh, another is like related to the first point is not as saturated as uh, the AWS market, right? AWS has kind of captured the whole market in the past. They were the market leaders, uh, the first starters, right? But Azure, since it's growing, uh, so the, 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 there would be a lot more engineers for AWS, I can see that. Uh, maybe not for Azure because it's growing, right? So maybe a lot of engineers might not have paid attention to Azure in the past, maybe like a couple of years back. They're kind of really getting into and jumping into the board. Another reason would be extensive offerings and services, right? Uh, so lately, um, Azure is coming out with like pretty good services such as Fabric, which is like super integrated data platform, which they've come out with, uh, is, is gaining a lot more traction, open AI integration. They also have a marketplace. They have Cosmos DB. They already, already have standard uh, offerings such as SQL databases, uh, uh, Azure SQL and everything, right? Uh, so they're coming with new technologies, which makes it a perfect place for uh, data integration, especially with AI and data. Another is Microsoft brand and trust. So Microsoft, because of their brand and trust, they're able to convince uh, older customers on on-premise to come over to Azure, right? So hence it's growing a lot. All right, so as a next step, let's try to understand the Microsoft certification levels, uh, the kind of certificates you can get uh, on a broader term, right? On a broader term, there are like four different types of certifications you can get, apart from the existing te exact technology you're applying from. So these are the, the levels of certifications you can try to get, right? So the first one is fundamentals. These are like basic courses, uh, which gives you an overview on in terms of uh, Azure Cloud and what are the services they are trying to offer, what are the things they are trying to do. Very high level fundamental stuff. I think anyone can do it. The next one is associate level certification. Uh, in this one, uh, it's more, um, actually a lot more certification exist in this space. Uh, they're not the expert one, but like they're, they're uh, especially like data engineering certification, fabric certification actually exist in this space. And this is where we will mostly target on in this video. Um, but yeah, there's also good to know there's expert level certification such as architect level certification, which basically says, hey, you you know all of this certification and you're like at the next level, which is also a good thing to get, maybe eventually, not at the moment, right? And then there's specialty certification, uh, which is uh, different for uh, from these three types, uh, which is like related to very specific technology, uh, is, n is not related to a very broader term or uh, uh, stream such as data engineering. For example, one specialty certification I have included is Cosmos DB. So you can basically certified, get certified in Cosmos DB, which is like uh, pretty good, like for uh, which is a pretty good database uh, for vector database, et cetera, right? Which is being used a lot these days. All right, as a next step, let's look at into the certification universe of Azure. Uh, it's already on their official website, Microsoft.com, right? I, I leave a link, but this way you can see all the certifications in place. I just added a filter for cert like credential type. There's a few more, right? Uh, if it's just certification, it's gonna show so show certifications, right? Um, so it's a big list of uh, maybe maybe 30 plus uh, certifications. Um, so this is the universe, right? 
there are courses and there are, cert- there are certifications within this platform. So they provide you with the material and everything. So uh, for now, uh, I haven't like, I've started a bit of training. Uh, I haven't started a lot. So I'm going to keep you posted what, what is the best way. So this video is not about that on how to best approach it. But this is about creating a plan for myself and for you if you want to wanna use this one, right? This is the certification universe, uh, which has all the certification. If you go through it one by one, there's a 365 certified as- administrator expert, endpoint administrator associate, fundamentals. I think this is one of the key uh, for my business user, beginner certification, right? Uh, for data related, you can see Cosmos DB, data engineering associate. So these are already highlighted. Uh, there's a lot more certification to achieve in Azure that you can do, right? So for me, I'm going to. Sp- specifically focus on the data ones which i filled it out right but i kind of prepped it prepped in a small diagram to show uh the certifications which i'm gonna pursue for data um they there would be a slight change in terms of this picture eventually uh, but this is the key goal so i'm gonna get two data fundamental certification which is data fundamental and two fundamental certification the first one is uh, azure data fundamental the other one is azure ai fundamentals there's another another one i think azure fundamentals which is like super should be super based i haven't looked into it too much i'm not going to do that maybe if you're interested just get that one too but this is this is type of certification maybe uh, which maybe is even good enough for like a business user or a business analyst uh, if you just uh, want to know what kind of services uh, azure provides these kind of certifications should cover that um, I'm going to kind of uh, go my way through eventually look into these certifications and start off with the certifications initially, right? And eventually down the line, once I get these fundamentals, I'm going to focus on the associate one. Uh, the first one I would f- want to focus on is, I think I thought of doing data analysis because it would be easier. But uh, once I was researching, um, I just realized they, this is going to be decommissioned. So data analysts, so don't, don't do this one now. This is going to be decommissioned um, and uh, there's no point in working on this one. Uh, it's going to be absorbed in other certifications just fabric or data engineer if i'm not wrong so yeah the first one i'm going to focus on obviously azure data engineer certification that's the first one i'm going to get uh, uh is one of those then it is uh azure data scientist i would also eventually want to get this one to kind of showcase my capability as a data engineer or as a lead data engineer that i know everything right uh the other one would be ai engineer i would be also interested in getting an ai engineer i this should cover ml ops and deployment of machine learning models um uh, how to kind of enable data scientists to build models at scale, right? Those kind of stuff, uh, feature store, if I'm not wrong. And then there's Azure Fabric Engineer, which I also want to really focus on. Like after data engineer, I'm probably going to do the Fabric Engineer one. Uh, so this one, uh, they, uh, basically uh, Microsoft came up with a new platform which competes with the other data platforms. Uh, so they came up with Fabric, which is basically seamlessly integrated inside of Power BI, which is which is pretty big. So they've kind of streamlined everything in, in, in Fabric, um, making it a full-blown uh, platform for data, data engineering, data science, everything, right? So it has everything in place. So I'm going to focus on that. Then there's Cosmo DB. I would, that's a cert- specialty certification. Mind, be mindful of this associate one i'm going to remove this one later on in the diagram but uh, specialty certification i'm interested in because it kind of have vector database and uh, uh, it's actually related to a lot more de- uh, generative ai stuff where you kind of index data sets and structure data sets it's pretty good um uh, skill set to have so i'm going to focus on that and then there's eventually when i get everything then i'm going to focus on azure solution architect because to kind of show my skill set as a, as a full-blown Microsoft engineer that who knows everything, right? Um, so I'm going to do that. As a final step, let's look at the final roadmap I've kind of prepped up. So these are kind of certifications I'm, I'm aiming for in the first five months. And this is how the roadmap kind of looks like for me. So the first one I'm, I'm going to get is Azure Data Fundamentals. The next one is Azure AI Fundamentals. So the first two weeks, uh, so, it's, so I've kind of marked it as week by week. So five months, each four boxes is like a week approximately it can be more or less right uh in a month but let's let's keep it this way so four weeks per month so the first two weeks i'm going to focus on when i'm going to start is azure data fundamentals uh meanwhile in the second week once i'm giving the exam i'm also going to quickly look at azure ai fundamentals i see this i don't see this very as very difficult because it's like very high level and then the exam shouldn't be very hard but the first three weeks i'm going to clear these two certification uh and then uh uh, I'm going to start off with the AI, the, the data engineering exam, right? I'm, I'm still confused if I should start with data engineer or fabrics analytics in de- engineer, but most likely I'm going to start with the data engineer because I'm, that's where I'm well versed with, right? Creating pipelines, I've created certificates for 
I've cleared certificates for other cloud providers as well, right? So, so the first, then these one, two, three, four, five weeks I, I've kept for data engineer Azure uh, examination. Uh, I know this is a bit tight, but uh, my my kind of goal is to kind of get as many of these certificate this year, so that also these kind of changes a lot later on. So I want to get this quickly uh, and kind of prove my worth. So hence it's a very fast timeline, but five weeks is still good enough time for me to prep. I've cleared other certificate now. I'm a bit more confident. So this plan actually works for someone a bit more uh, a bit more intermediate than a beginner. But I'm going to create independent videos for this, so you can just use that. But this is a very high level plan, right? First five weeks, uh, after that five weeks for data engineer and another five weeks for analytics engineer. Uh, these two I'm gonna work on. I'm gonna work on the DB uh, a Cosmos DP after that because I think um, this is an interesting certification I really wanna get. Because Cosmos DB, I, I, I actually wanna learn the, the, the tech and how to use it, how to apply it in the, the right place and the best places, right? So then I've kind of reserved three weeks for that uh, for the Cosmos DB speciality. And then after that, the AI engineer certificate, I'm gonna get, um, I've kind of kept five weeks. So so the first two months, you're already hitting off with two certificate and prepped for two, uh, for another one. So first two months, you're getting three certificate in total. Month, you get one certificate because fabric analytics engineer, I think it's gonna be a big one. Uh, there's a lot more to do because they've closed the data analyst one, right? Uh, so I'm gonna get this one. Uh, then there's Cosmos DB in the month four and the month fifth, I will have the AI certification engineer Azure. <laughs> if you want to extend this, the next step is kind of, I'm I'm going to prep up directly is the solutions architect exam. Um, uh, I think that's where I want to prove my worth that, hey, I, I, I have the expertise uh, for solution architect and I know each and every service. I'm like the expert for Azure before getting anything else like uh, data scientist or data analyst. Data analyst is going to shut down so we can skip this part, but uh, uh, for month sixth and seventh, I think the, the the solution architect I'm gonna focus on. I hope this video was useful for you. If you gain value out of this, definitely hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. It really helps me a lot to promote my promote my channel to people like you. Uh, yeah, and thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next one.